Hello guys. We have arrived. It is our, well, it's kind of the end of our first day. So we flew in from Gatwick into Cancun yesterday. Our flight got in kind of, well, it was kind of late. It was like late afternoon. It was 4.45 p.m. Um, we then had a bit of a nightmare. Basically, we got off the, we got out of the airport, collected our luggage, all of that. And we walked out of the um airport and oh my god there was so many people like harassing us being like get in our taxi get in our taxi and i was then freaking out i was like well i'm so if these like aren't legit taxis there was no taxi rank which i just kind of assumed there would be but there's no taxi rank in cancun like bear that in mind if you're planning to come here like organized transport before so i was then like oh my god like what if these taxi companies aren't legit whatever anyway we ended up having to be like we're just gonna have to get in one because we actually don't have a choice right now we were basically staying in this like kind of shit hotel. Um, it was like, I don't even know what it was. It was kind of a hotel, but kind of not. Um, near, right next to the port because we were we were getting in late and then we were obviously leaving to go to Isla. How do you actually pronounce it? Is it Madures? Yeah, I'll do. Ma like Madures, just off Cancun, really early this morning. So we were like, there's no point in like staying somewhere fancy. We were like, let's just... Okay. <laughs> let's just like get in somewhere near the port so it's super easy for us today so we i'm trying to think i've just lost my train of thought oh yeah so we end up getting in a taxi we end up just like choosing a random company and they look like the most legit that a taxi company could look you know so we then jumped in that taxi and it was 100 pounds 100 pounds like not 100 mexican pesos it was 100 pounds to get to the port it was like a 45 minute drive um anyway so got in the taxi got to the hotel it was then like pitch black i did not realize how dark it would get so quickly we then like couldn't find the entrance to the hotel i was getting so stressed but anyway we managed to get in we both fell asleep by about 8 p.m because mexico's five hours back so although it was 8 p.m mexico time it was actually 8 9 10 11 12 1 1 a.m uk time and we'd obviously been up since like 6 30 so we stayed there then this morning we woke up quite early at like 6 50 i think um obviously because again we're five hours back so that actually would have been so late uk time but we then jumped on the ferry and it came to isla madures checked into our hotel they're so lovely here the hotel is literally gorgeous um they make let us check in quite early which was quite good because we were here super early and then we went and spent the day at playa nort or something which is meant to be one of the best beaches in the world one of the top 10 beaches in the world it was really nice but like it was very busy um so I don't know. I wouldn't say it was one of the top 10 beaches. It, there was also like loads of boats, like loads of boats, like all parked along the sea, which was like, I get people want to come to the beach, but I'm also a bit like, it does kind of ruin the beach. Anyway, it was a lovely day. We had a, such a nice lunch. We got um, shrimp tempura tacos and like these nachos with like fried beans and cheese all on it oh yeah and we had breakfast i got a smoothie bowl and george got what did you get chicken enchiladas. chicken enchiladas for breakfast gross but anyway it is now the evening i'm going to start vlogging the trip from now we were just kind of like settling in today i'm going to show you guys our room because it is actually really cute and the hotel is really really nice okay i'm going to give you guys a room tour but it's a bit of a mess because we've unpacked all of our stuff uh so that's all of our crap basically all down here this is my suitcase uh, this is our bed. It's such a cute little setup. We've got some gorgeous little lights down here. We've got a really cute little balcony out here. The beach is literally like just down that road down there. It's so handy. Um, so yeah, I just love the decor. Like how cute. And then I'll show you our bathroom. <laughs> it's basically in here. So cute. Gorgeous little light little area and then our shower is oh gone out of focus is in here but we are basically here for two nights and then we go to Tulum for five nights and then we go to Bacala for three or four nights I think um but I have basically popped on this dress from Tala this is so comfortable this dress honestly I'm kind of like 
not going crazy on the outfits this holiday like i just want to be comfy i just want to like have a good time i don't want to be like fussing about what i'm wearing do you know what i mean um so i've just popped on at this dress it's literally so comfortable it's just a maxi dress but i am getting a little bit worried about the color i'm not gonna lie because it's so humid outside like it is literally it's so so humid and i've been dripping basically all day my hair's already in a slick back bun i lasted all of one day without being in a slick back bun i was like this needs to go up um but yeah this dress is really really comfortable but the weird thing is i've got like loads of spots on my chest i don't know where well it's come from something today i don't know whether it's like sun heat rash or like something i don't know but like i don't know my extra on my shoulders is also really poking through like the white dry skin i'm kind of hoping the sun is gonna like zap it out of my skin i always get really bad eczema on my shoulders during winter which is strange i never used to get it until like a few years ago and then it started happening but anyway that's our update for the time being this is playa nor oh little cartwheel going on there we come to watch sunset but it is a little bit cloudy so the sunset's not great but it still does look pretty damn gorgeous i literally love the color of the sea at this time like i think it's so so cute like the blue the little tiny sunset we've got the palm trees going on lovely it's how gorge like that is actually so so pretty oh my god <laughs> How lush. Guys, I'm sorry, I actually just can't go over it. It just gets better and better. The further along the beach we go, it just gets better and better. Like, I just, I just think that's the most stunning thing ever. This is our setting, it's so weird. We've got a living Christmas tree up. Not giving Christmas. Okay, we've come to this restaurant. It took us so long to find, honestly. Like, we were just searching around for so long. We went to that bar for a drink, which was really nice, and then we we're trying to find a restaurant, but like there was nowhere anywhere. Anyway, this restaurant had a few people in, so we came here. Halfway through ordering our food, and he just walked off. I was like, babe, I'm not finished yet. Um, but we've ordered some mojitos. It's two for one, but he said it's per person. You can't get a mojito each, and it like come under the two for one. So we had to get um, four. And anyway, so we've only got guacamole on the way, but we actually wanted fajitas as well. But I did actually have a quick outfit change. I changed into my crochet dress from Mango because the grey one I was too wearing. And actually, I'm quite glad it's quite hot right now. Are you? When we were sat by the drink, um, by the beach having a drink, I was actually getting quite cold because of the sea breeze, I would assume. But right now, I am sweating. So that's great. We have a lovely little van going on that's quite cute. The restaurant is quite nice. shattered we went to bed at about 9 a.m and um, we had such a good sleep literally woke up this morning feeling so refreshed i did actually have to wake up quite early this morning i had to wake up at five because i had a collab to post on instagram and it was something which needed to be posted in the morning but obviously because we're five hours back i had to wake up extra early to be able to post it but i posted it went back to sleep and we're now ready to go so i've just popped on this bikini it's like a brown sparkly bikini it's really cute it's from tj swim um and then i've just got a black like vest and then just a black denim skirt we're just quickly gonna go and grab breakfast there's like an oh it's called oh my brunch just below our hotel and it looks really delicious so we're gonna go there and then we're actually gonna try and find a either a moped or a golf cart they basically drive golf carts around the island it is so jokes um and we're basically just gonna explore the island for the day and go down the other side because we're basically like all the way up one end 
so we want to go and explore the other end and where our dinner is tonight is actually down the other end of the island so we kind of need transport anyway transportation anyway so we're going to go and find either a ped or a golf cart okay this is oh my brunch <laughs> if i was for a vanilla latte we got given a kick out on top <laughs> George's putting chilli sauce all over his avocado. He's been searching for chilli sauce for ages. Well, not for ages, we've wow. actually been there for one day. Oh my god, that looks gross. That looks like balsamic vinegar. Yeah. Um, he also just found a hair in his food, so that's lovely. But these eggs, they look a little bit underdone for me, I'm not going to lie. Let's actually see. They, yeah. That, oh, oh, oh. Mm, yeah, snot, 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 Guys, we've just stopped off at this viewpoint. Look how incredible that water is. That is literally the most stunning water ever. Like, wow. We've come to a place called Panda Surf. And look at that little animal down there. <laughs> oh my god, what is that bird? Wow. I bet you he's looking for fish. Oh my god, his feet look scary. So amazing there. What is that bird, man? Wow. Guys, look how clear and blue the water is. That's actually incredible. We're back on the road. We're going back down the other side of the island now. We just went to the very end, like the other end, and now we are driving back down the other side. We found this little beach, so we're gonna chill here for a bit. The sand is literally so nice. They've got these like little huts. The sea is a little bit rough and it's a little bit rocky, but I think it'll be all right for a few hours, like just to sunbathe, chill, until we basically get hungry. To come to a place called Mango Cafe. We literally just drove past it and we were like, we had kind of been recommended it by the owner of our hotel. And we've got pork, what are these called? Pork? Barbecue pork empanadas. Barbecue pork empanadas and some quesadillas. And it literally looks delish. The cafe is pretty funky. It started raining loads when we are in the golf buggy and it was like it's sodden. I was like, cover my bag. Oh yeah, don't taste bag. Uh, taste, <laughs> taste bag, taste test. So I dip it or just dip it? Dip it. Get the full experience. Whoa. <laughs> hey guys, it is 6 p.m. I think, no, 7? Um, we're about to go out for dinner, but it's basically absolutely chucking it down. Like it is a huge storm out there, it's so windy, it's so rainy. Um, we did go to the beach this afternoon. When we got back, we went for lunch. I think I showed you guys lunch. Then we dropped the golf buggy car thing back at the place and then we went to the beach um near our hotel until about 4 30 ish i think and then there was like really gray like the gray cloud was huge so we headed back to the hotel and yeah it's basically been a thunderstorm ever since then we're now about to head out for dinner but 
we were meant to be going to a place called Samura, but honestly, like, it's just chucking it down, and I'm pretty sure Samura's outside, and we were just like, oh, do you know what? We can't really be bothered. So we're going to have to, like, run to a restaurant nearby and just hope that they've got seats inside. I'm going to have to change. I did put on this white bandeau top and these white linen trousers, but they're going to get absolutely sodden outside, and they're going to go see-through, and it's just going to be a disaster. So I need to get changed, and we're going to head out for dinner. We've come for dinner in the rain to a delicious Italian. We've got a very yummy chorizo pizza and then we got parmigiana. And then we also got some mango and passion fruit margaritas. The weather is literally rancid outside, but this um, restaurant's really cute. It's really good, a little Christmas tree there. But this looks delicious. We're basically just gonna share both, but it looks really, really scrumptious. We have arrived in Tulum, thank goodness. It is so, so gorgeous, our hotel. So obviously our bed is there. They actually upgraded us. Um, we did have this kind of room anyway. That's like our balcony. Um, but apparently we were on the ground floor before and they've just made us go on to the first floor. Um, a little hammock to chill in. And then this is the bathroom. There's an outdoor shower, which actually looks so cute. And then, that's the loop. And then there is also a shower through here. It's literally so nice. Oh my God, they look lovely. But what a gorgeous hotel. This is literally my idea of absolute heaven. The outdoor bit is literally so adorable as well. I'll show you guys. We're gonna get into our bikini. It's not the best weather, but we're gonna have to make do. But it's so pretty. We've just woken up. Well, we haven't actually, we actually woke up at 7 a.m. like we seem to be doing every day. <laughs> um, but we've just come down for breakfast. So we get a fruit platter to start. We've got a coffee, a green juice, we've just got a pineapple juice, also a fruit platter. And then we've just ordered our main breakfast, our main course <laughs> for breakfast. But our hotel is literally so cute. It's a very, very stormy day today. Like it's, it's not, it's not great. Um, but hopefully it's going to clear up this afternoon. But yeah, that's basically our setup for today. I can't remember if I showed you guys our room. Did I vlog the room? I did vlog the room. Um, I'll show you guys like the area when we walk back through, but that's like the beach bit. So nice, then obviously the sea's there. It's lovely. We've just come for a stroll along the beach. <laughs> um, it's a very, very stormy day. Look at that dark, dark clouds. But we're hoping this afternoon, I think I've already said this, this afternoon is meant to clear up. The beach also, like the, the sea looks so much nicer in person. Like honestly, on a camera or like a phone, it just does it absolutely zero justice. Oh my God. But yeah, it's lovely. Lovely stroll along the beach. What more would you want, hey? We're also checking out all the other like hotels and beach clubs and our hotel is strong in first position. Here's our hotel in all its glory. Looking absolutely beautiful. The sun is starting to poke through very, very briefly. I'll show you guys the pool area. We had breakfast there this morning, just to the right in there. They've got cute little buckets to like rinse your feet. But my trousers, I don't really want them to get wet. Ooh, oh my God, that's cold. Here's the pool area. It's quite small, but the hotel's quite small, so it doesn't really matter. And to be honest, everyone sits by the beach anyway. So it's just so nice though. And then we walk through here. They're like the loos. If you're by the beach, you can use them. And then through here, it's literally so cute. It's just like a jungle, a jungle of goodness. the most beautiful hotel ever and 
do, 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 do. The reception bit's just to the right through there. And then our room's just straight on. I love these trees, they're so cute. Our room is, I think it's around here. I get a bit lost around here, to be honest. Oh yeah, it's just up these stairs. The weather is so bad. It is so, so windy. We woke up this morning and it was really cloudy. So we just had like quite a chilled morning. Um, I just did my makeup to take some pictures because it gets dark so early in the evening and I really wanted to get a picture in this dress from what I wore last night. So I basically just took the picture this morning because of the light. Um, yeah, and went down to the beach because we were like, oh, the sun kind of looks like it's like popping out a tiny bit. Went down to the beach. Oh my God, it is so windy. Like the windiest thing ever, literally getting sandblasted. I came back to the hotel, back to our room, and I was drenched in sand. Like, it's in my ears, it's all in my hair, it's like matted to my face. I emptied out my bag, the amount of sand which actually came out was not okay. My camera is covered in sand. It's just a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. Um, we're now gonna go back down because actually by the pool area, it was a bit more sort of like sheltered, so there was, um, as much wind so we're gonna go and chill down there but i've got this red bikini on from aquatropic it's really cute it's kind of like that like it's actually quite cute i never really wear a red bikini but i'm kind of loving it i don't think i've ever worn a red bikini actually but yeah anyway we are just going to go down to the pool and chill there basically it's just so annoying that the sun's not coming out like Please just come out for me. I just want to get a tan. I'm literally going to go back to England whiter than I left because I put on some like tanning moisturizer before we left. And yeah, I'm going to go back whiter, paler, which is great. Absolutely great. But anyway, we're having a relaxing time. So I guess that's good at least. We've actually got some board games like by the pool. We played battleships yesterday. Maybe we should play battleships actually. Although the pegs might just fly everywhere. <laughs> um, so yeah, to the pool we go. Lunch is served. Horrid t-shirt you got on there. Iced coffee, yum scrum. Oh my God, what's going on here? I'm soaring a tree down. There's, there's a lot of layers to get through. We had to get our eggs well done because um, they're literally like George's eggs this morning it was so sloppy and like snotty it was so gross so we had ours right eggs well done with the sandwich that literally looks so delicious yum okay how the hell are we gonna tackle this wow oh my god the bread at the bottom is kind of soggy oh my god guys oh no my sandwich it's falling apart George I don't need to do that Nothing oh, yeah. Do, is it? Oh, awesome. Are you okay? Thank you. Jesus, thank you. Thank you. Something to reassemble it. Mm. That is delicious. It needs like a pin in it, you know what I mean? It needs those sticks. Yeah. Oh, my God, yummy. Oh, that mayo. Mmm. Something different about that. Good garlic mayo. I'm going to put that tastes, mayo into that pot. That tastes not like normal garlic, though. Mexican garlic. Different. Yummy! George doesn't know what to wear. So he wants. Oh my god, this camera. Stay in Bogarts. Um, George can't decide what to wear, so he wants me. He wants to film me choosing what he's gonna wear. This camera, like, seriously, it's had a right old beating from the beach today. Like, poor thing, it's literally covered in sand in every crack ever. I'm wearing this. It's this like green crochet maxi dress and it's long sleeve, it's quite cute. I fully say so myself. <laughs> um, okay, hang on. I don't know what you wanna, like what's your vibe? Just whatever. Dinner vibe, do you know what I mean? So this is an option here. 
No, you, you are not wearing if that. If you turn that around the other way. No, that's disgusting. That's vile. I don't even know why you bought that away. Sit my stuff in the top drawer. What's very neat? Um, so you've got linen-y shorts. Let's do like a nice outfit tonight because I'm wearing a nice outfit and we're going to that nice. Why are you laughing? That nice um, place. Place. If we actually manage to get in. Okay, right. So there you're nice. Okay, so you, is it, it's between these. Top wise, well. You could either wear just a plain white t-shirt or you could wear your linen shirt, which like most definitely is not linen. Um, what last top do you have on here? Is that what one was that one? You wore that the other day, didn't you? Mm, Did you wear that? I don't think so. I've not worn that yet. Yeah, you have. You, you wore it in um, Island Jurors. Oh, you put this bit in so much shit. Do you want this one? Okay. Well, do you want a shirt vibe or not? Let's see that car hot top you've got out. Is that your gross one? Yeah, put that back. <laughs> 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 What do you want? Do you want to wear a shirt or a t-shirt? T-shirt. You're never <laughs> going to wear this shirt, are you? Maybe. <laughs> you bought it especially and you're never going to put it on. Alright guys, we'll come back with a fit check in a second. <laughs> <laughs> what do we think, guys? I like that. Hang on, stand back. We don't have a long mirror. Stop. Hopefully you won't have seen that last um, video section of me wearing that top because this you won't include that in the in the edit. But <laughs> this is the fit. We've got a nice little Carhartt top. Is that tucked in? No. Brand new from me. Brand new from Lissy. We've got some green shorts. Don't know if you can see them. And then we're going <laughs> to hit with a nice pair of dunks. What lovely. do you reckon? Yeah, lovely. I mean, I told you what to wear, so on the beach. It is so beautiful. I literally just can't get over it. George thinks it's ugly because um, what's that sign? George thinks it's ugly because of the grey sky but I actually I quite like the vibe to be honest. I think it kind of like adds to the whole effect but um, yeah that is Ziggy's I think. Just having a stroll on the beach. Having a great time. So it's so nice. I'm literally in heaven, heaven above. I've just come to Mia's for a drink. I've got a mango daiquiri, George has got a beer. It was quite weird. I'll explain what happened later, but honestly, we just had the weirdest experience. It's like not really focusing. Oh, there we go. We honestly just had the most bizarre experience ever. But at least we've got an alcoholic beverage, mango daiquiri, yum scrum. Oh my god, this is literally so not in focus at all. There we go. Cheers. Mm. Guys, we've ended up getting food here because we can't bother to go elsewhere. But um, we've got some calamari and then we've got pizza to share. We're not too hungry because we had a huge lunch. As you guys saw, we had the club sarnies. Um, so yeah, but I just got a, another mango daiquiri. George got another beer and we're having a lovely time. Next course has arrived. We've got pizza. Burrata, Parma ham. The lights also just went off in this whole place and I was literally thinking, oh my God, we need to get out of here ASAP. It's a really, really weird place. We're having a very weird experience. <laughs> Good morning. The sun is shining. It's blue sky. We're so excited. I think it's like, what's the time? quarter past eight we're gonna go grab breakfast now um last night's dinner i said i'd explain to you it was so weird so we walked in it was really busy outside so we went and sat down outside to get a drink and then it started raining so we were like right let's go inside so we like walked up to the restaurant bit and they were like oh you can go in that tent went in this weird tent it was pitch black 
we were like this is really weird the music was like really loud it was like literally pitch black there was a massive group of boys this other guy like came up to us and like was asking if we wanted like coke or like weed and we were like what um no then there was a guy like on the outside like on of the tent like doing drugs basically and we were literally like like what on earth is going on it was the most bizarre thing we were like right let's get out of this weird tent we were then like should we stay or should we not and then they were like oh come over here come over here and we were like oh god we can't really get out of it now so then we went over there got a drink it was fine like outside of that tent the vibes were a bit more normal but still like the the um, like the, the types of people like it was just a really like odd mix of people do you know what i mean you know when you can't like really put your hand on it like it was just a bit odd um anyway we end up getting a drink and then we actually end up just getting dinner there we weren't very hungry so like you said like you saw we just shared a few bits but it was just, it was so weird. Like honestly, the people and like just the whole vibe, it was just peculiar. Anyway, the sun is shining. We're gonna, we're gonna go and grab breakfast. I've just put on my Hunter Jew bikini. This is new. I got this in the sample sale, but my sister actually gave it to me for my birthday. And then I just put on my um, denim shorts. But yeah, last night was honestly like just, it was just, the vibe was weird. You know, when like, there's just like a weird vibe like I don't know if anyone else gets that like it's just like it's just weird you can't really like put a finger on it it's just weird anyway that's the update we're going for breakfast <laughs> okay breakfast is served I've gone for the french toast today and you know what I'm very very happy with my choice apparently that's like a ginger whipped cream got a green juice iced coffee you George... got a crumb yep I've got a crumb George has got the omelette with potatoes that's fried beans I think to be said. And nothing more to be said. Pineapple juice, the, the, the clouds have come out today, which is a bit of a shame. But we, we've got a bit of sun for about five minutes, which is lovely. Guys, look how lovely it looks in the sun. We haven't actually seen this hotel in the sun yet. <laughs> it looks so nice though, like, oh my god, that pool looks so delicious. And the sea, how lovely. Guys, we've rented out a pad for the day, so we're going to the Salote. The sun is shining, we're having a great time. I didn't bring my camera because it was just gonna be a bit too much to like have it in the um have it in the bag. Like I didn't want to lose it, I didn't want it to like break or anything or like it gets stolen. So I'm just gonna vlog on my phone today. You can actually see me in the mirror. <laughs> We've got these very uh just looking helmets on. And yeah, we're just on our way to the Cenote. It's not too long of a drive, I think it's about 20 minutes on a pad. Cold. And you get. We've both got some tacos. George has got fish tacos. I've got shrimp tacos. We've got Corona. We've got tortilla chips. We've got a lovely view. We're literally having a great time. Like that looks delicious. Yum, scrum. Is that nice? What, what dip is that? Some kind of avocado stuff. Lovely. This literally looks insane. Oh my god, yum. We're ready for the evening. It's really early. We had the biggest storm ever like I think since we've been here it was like really really nice and then it literally hit 2 p.m and the rain was like it was it was raining it was like literally plummeting down from the sky we thought it was going to blow over so we kind of like just chilled under like the cover bit for a bit hoping it was going to blow over and it just wasn't so we just came back to the room chilled for a bit and got ourselves ready we're basically going to this place called um Kintao tonight Kinto, I'm not sure. It's in a hotel called Azulik and it's basically like incredible. It's got like loads of nests and like the sculptures, like the whole hotel looks beautiful. Kinto or Tao, whatever it is, is the restaurant of Azulik, which is the hotel. So we've just got ourselves ready. Oh my God. Is that rain? Oh my God, it's 
absolutely shutting it down. Oh, basically we don't want to go to Kin Tau or Tau or whatever it's called in this weather because obviously like it's all outside. It is literally shitting it down. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing. I can actually balance you on here. That's quite good. So I've put on... <laughs> you can't really see because there's a bench in the way. What's this? Oh, that's my thing. I've got this white maxi skirt on. I've got this like lace bandeau top. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm dry pods. Yeah, here we go. White skirt, white maxi like lace bralette thing, and then I've just got my khaki blazer, which I think I'm just gonna put like over my shoulders like this because it gets a bit nippy in the night. I'm not gonna lie. I've also done a new thing with my hair, and I actually kind of like it because we've got a pet. I don't know if you can hear that, but that is the rain. We've got a pet, so that's another thing. I don't know how I'm gonna sit on the scooter in this skirt. I'm literally gonna have to roll it up like this to be able to like straddle the seat. But I've done a new thing with my hair because obviously I'm going to have to wear a helmet so I didn't want to put it in like a high bun. But I've basically just kept it down, like that's my natural hair. And then I just slicked back this bit so it's like kind of like half up. I feel like that would be easy for a helmet. But honestly, if I leave my hair natural, like this weather, this like climate literally makes my hair go psh. So like it's just not doable. I have to have it like kind of slipped back out of my face. Otherwise I literally... Like you don't even know what I'm, you don't even know what <laughs> you don't even want to know what I look like. I've also done a new makeup thing today, so I didn't really want to put on too much makeup. So I literally just did my eyebrows, then I put on some mascara, and then I literally just got my Refi cream blush and just like put a bit, bit of blusher on, and like that's all I've got on. I've obviously got some like face tan drops in my moisturizer which I put on last night. So my tan was, my face was kind of like, nat well not naturally, my face was obviously like a bit tanned before from the tan. But yeah, I'm actually really liking it. I didn't put on any like concealer or powder or anything like that. And you know what? I'm actually loving it. But yeah, that's basically what I'm wearing. I'll bring you guys down to the place tonight if we go. I don't know if we're gonna go like, this is not the weather for it, but we've only got our ped until 10 a.m. tomorrow. So we kind of wanna make use of it. We went to the cenote today. I'm actually gonna attach some videos which I took on my phone, um, but it was not what we were expecting at all. Like it kind of just wasn't a vibe. Like I would not waste your money if you're in Tulum going there. It was 25 pounds each, which like isn't loads, but for what it is, I do think it was a lot. Like we literally got there and we were like, is that it? Like the water was nice, but I'm not gonna lie. It looked 10 times nicer on camera. Like through my phone, it looked incredible. Like it was so blue, but in real life, it just like kind of wasn't. And then the water, like there was like little mini turtles swimming. Like it was, it was nice, but like we were literally in the water for probably about five minutes, if that. And then like it was tiny and there was nothing really else to do. So we just left. So we basically rented a ped to get there. I literally look so pale. Um, we rented a ped to get there, which was like 60 US dollars. So about 50 pounds um, and then obviously paid 25 pound each so it was basically 100 pounds to go to the cenote which wasn't worth it but we kind of want to use make use of the ped because obviously we've got it until 10 tomorrow so we're thinking we'll go to a zeolic tonight because it's quite far down the road uh, it's like a 25 minute walk i think so like it's like a six minute like drive well six minute but a cycle cycle bike cycle so it's probably like a three minute drive on a bed um but yeah in this weather we're not too sure so i'll let you guys know what we do guys we've come for dinner at this random place on the side of the road but we basically searched up best burritos in tulum and um here we are it's absolutely like it is plummeting it down outside and you can kind of see like the rain in the distance. It's raining so much, but we've got some tortilla chips. We've got so many different dips. Like this one's really nice. I think that green one's spicy. We've got like a secret sauce. We've got a mayo. We've got like oh, wow. a, oh my goodness, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We've also got mango margaritas, um, which are absolutely delicious. These are burritos. Oh my God, wow, that looks sensational. Having a lovely time. That is quite tequila -y. Nice though. 
Oh my god, we just got absolutely sodden. We had to head home. Look at the state of my blazer. It's literally tipping it down. It's literally so wet. I was literally finding it so funny. Like, the puddles. Oh my god, my trousers are sodden. Like, the weather outside is not nice. The weather outside is frightful. It's not, is it frightful? What does frightful mean? Oh, well, yeah, it's frightful then. It is apt. My trousers are literally sodden. Like, the, the rain's literally followed us from England and it's just actually not okay. Like, can it stop? Hello, guys. I have not vlogged for the entire day. It was actually really nice just to, like, chill. The sun has literally been shining all day. It's been so lovely. So, honestly, like, there's not really been much to vlog. We had breakfast this morning and then we literally just headed down to the beach and we've literally been sat there from about 9.30 a.m. until now and it's about 5.30 um, but we then, it was so sandy, it was so windy, like honestly the wind is like crazy um, so we were literally covered in sand because obviously we've been sat on the beach all day with the wind like blowing the sand in our faces um, but we came back, had a shower and just got ourselves ready because we're going to a restaurant called Arca tonight and it looks delicious. I booked it quite a while ago and I'm hoping it's going to be busy. So far, literally every restaurant we've been to has been completely dead. Like, we just don't know where everyone is. Um, so yeah, we've got Arca tonight. I have just put on this brown corset with like this zebra print maxi skirt. It's new. I quite like it. Hang on. Like I said, we don't have a long mirror, so it's really hard to like see our outfits but I think this looks okay I don't know I think I tried it on before um we came away I can't really remember anyway yeah we've got our car we've got ourselves ready for dinner we're just gonna go down to the hotel like restaurant bit and just grab ourselves some drinks watch sunset probably and then head over to our car but yeah it's been such a lovely day I'll show you guys the sky it's literally blue sky it's so lovely it's kind of cloudy now well, actually, no, it's not. It's still blue sky. That's the best sky we've had so far. But yeah, it's been a lovely day in the sun, just relaxing. We literally haven't moved for the entire day. We've arrived at Arca. I've got myself a pineapple, like, cocktail thing. Um, it looks hot there. The restaurant is really cute, I'm not gonna lie. It's like, got so many, like, lights. The whole kitchen's, like, over there. It's just so nice. And then we've ordered, well, I'll just show you guys what we've ordered, but this is basically the vibe for now. It's lovely. Absolutely lovely, right? Finish. Right, some of our food has arrived. We've got salmon bread with some special butter. <laughs> it's from the Amish community. From the Amish community, Chia yeah. or something. With some yeah. Tulum salt as well. That's like salt from the Tulum rock. Then we've got these prawns. Um, very fresh, very herbal. Very fresh, very herbal. They look absolutely delicious So The only annoying thing is we have to bloody pick them up. <laughs> Not to worry. Right guys, next up we've got the Wagyu B. Pretty small for 50 pounds. Pop them away, pretty small. Right, taste that as you go. The prawns are so good, by the way. Oh my god, it was literally delicious. So good. Top notch. That does look incredible, to be fair. The food here is literally insane. Okay, next up, we've got a squash. On the menu it said a whole squash, so we thought a whole squash was going to come. But I think it's like they just use every part of the squash. Um, this looks really nice. The wagyu beef was absolutely insane. But yeah, this looks delicious actually. Yummy scrummy. Also, that's my bathroom, so we've got a free dessert. <laughs> it actually looks delicious though. It's cheesecake. It looks like it's got some chocolate in it. I do feel a bit guilty though because it's obviously not my birthday, but oh well. You're not gonna lick that in. No, I don't know what to do with it. I'm just Crack gonna have to over. Take, take a towel. Taste test coming up. Me or me's tasting? Yeah. Well, today, well, 
that should be safe day for you guys. I'm guessing if you're watching the whole vlog, but it's a different day for us. Um, we went to Arca last night. I think I did vlog some of it. It was literally delicious. The food was insane. Um, they literally, like, every meal they came over and, like, explained exactly where, like, the food was from and, like, how they made it. It was incredible. Anyway, woke up this morning and it was raining. The rain last night, oh, my God, it actually woke us up. Like, we woke up and we were like, what the hell? Like, it was plummeting it down. But we woke up this morning and it was pretty cloudy, so we actually just jumped on the bikes. They have, like, um, pedal bikes, which you can, like, borrow. And we need to get some cash out, so we just, like, cycled down the road. It's, like, along the beachfront. Um, when I got some money out, came back and now we are just eating breakfast. I've got pancakes, it's quite windy again today, but the sun is poking through. We've just got avo toast, but we're actually gonna share half and half. And then we've just got a day of sunbathing really. But this evening we might go to Casa Banana. We've been recommended it and we walked past it yesterday and it looked really nice. So we might go there for dinner, but I'll show you our breakfast. Blueberry pancakes, avo toast, pineapple green juice, iced coffee, it started raining a bit, it's very stormy outside, so we've just come in and got some lunch. I've got the nachos, we had them on the first day, they look really yummy. Actually, those tacos look delicious. George got octopus tacos. We've got some chips to share, because yesterday they were so scrumptious. Just look how bad these bites are. Literally awful. What is that? What the hell is that? They're literally so itchy. They're not like usual mozzie bites, I don't know why. Also, I'm so sorry, I keep vlogging on my phone, because... My camera's actually on charge at the moment, but whenever I'm out, I just forget my camera, so I just keep vlogging on my phone, so if the quality is a bit crap, then that's why, I don't apologise. We are all ready for dinner though. George looks lovely. We're going to play some cards, um, we've got a Corona, and then we're going out for dinner. We think we're going to go to a place called Casa Banana tonight, it's apparently it's really nice. We walked past it yesterday on the way back from Arca, and it was really busy, so we think we're going to head there. and definitely get ice cream after because I need to have that sort of camera popcorn ice cream it was delicious um but I've got this black top on from Zara and these black trousers these are really comfy these beach trousers they're like the comfiest things and they're really thin so they're quite good the only issue is um they're extremely long like really really long oh my god these bites I don't know what to do they're so itchy we are at Casa Banana. We've got a starter to share. It's like smoky chorizo or something. <laughs> we've been calling everything Schmolky because we passed this restaurant called Mr. Schmolky. <laughs> and this restaurant is like full of just basic smoke infused foods. But yeah, we've got chorizo, it looks delicious. I've got a glass of wine, George's got a beer. But the restaurant is really, really cute. Like they cook everything down there. It's actually such a nice restaurant. Well, no, it's, it's quite good. weird, it's got vegetables on its last, like, you know what I mean? It's literally like a sausage. We got given these huge knives, we were like, what the hell? Oh my god, it's hot. What's this? Really nice. That was really delicious, very meaty, but it's nice. Our main courses have arrived. George's octopus salad looks unreal. My camera, honestly, I'm so sorry. The quality is so awful. Collie cheese. I've got mushroom risotto. It looks insane. Did you try some octopus? It's very close up. I tried um, that. Absolutely yum scrum. We've come back to the ice cream, Obby. I've got popcorn again and I, we also got, we both got banana split. It was actually so delicious. She just randomly gave it to us to try and it was so nice. So we ended up getting it. Yum, looks so delicious. I just filmed a big long chat and it was all in slow-mo. This happened in Paris. Like I must in my bag, like click a button and it turns in slow-mo. It's so annoying. Anyway, I'll just repeat myself all over again. This evening's dinner was delicious. We <laughs> went to Casa Banana, which was delicious. The restaurant was literally stunning. Like it was such a gorgeous restaurant. They had like an open kitchen, an open fire. All the food was like cooked in like a wood fire. It was so delicious. I got a mushroom risotto. George got um, octopus salad. We got some chorizo, chorizo to start and we got some cauliflower cheese. And I'd recommend going there though if you're into them. It was really yum. Then we went and got some ice cream from Aldo's. Honestly, the ice cream there is 
the most delicious thing ever like that salted caramel popcorn ice cream oh my god it is stunning i just looked up to see if it was in bacala because we're going to bacala tomorrow and annoyingly it's not which is a bit of a shame because honestly i'm gonna miss it so much but we actually both got the popcorn ice cream with banana split which is pretty rogue i would never ever normally get banana split ice cream but um she just gave it to us as a tester so and then we tried it and then we were like oh my god that's actually so delicious we both got banana split and the salted caramel popcorn ice cream but oh god that salted caramel popcorn ice cream i'm genuinely going to be dreaming about that for so long like when we go back to the uk like i'm going to be dreaming about it anyway we then got in a taxi and came back i was explaining the taxi situation in that slow motion video i'll explain it again but basically the taxis in tulum it's really weird it's like one road along the beach and basically it's like 25 pounds wherever you go like to get in a taxi it's like 500 mexican pesos to go anywhere so where all the restaurants are it's literally like a 10 minute drive from where our hotel is but it's 500 pesos so like you just have to pay basically 50 quid to go out for dinner in the evening just on taxis and like no taxi man will go less but luckily we actually got a taxi yesterday there was just a man outside our hotel and we got in his taxi and um he did it for 250 which was so nice and then he gave us his number and was like just text me if you like need another ride and we he dropped us off at casa banana today but then he was busy in the evening to drop us back to the hotel so we had to pay this other man how much was it 400 mm. we agreed on 400 but george silly idiot gave the taxi man on the way there a 200 not a 20 so he actually paid him well technically actually you gave it to him you gave me the money though yeah but you should have checked <laughs> i did check and i had 220 and then you gave me another 200 we well, yeah, i don't even that's think you gave me that's because you lost the other 20 well no because you've just found it yeah true. yeah he was a lovely man as well so he kind of deserves it it's really helped us so he deserves that money anyway that's it from us tonight um i'm really annoyed that first video was gone the slow-mo so annoying honestly i'm the thing is i just checked as well and there's like no difference between how the camera looks so i'm never gonna know if it's slow-mo or not until i've basically filmed it and then realized when i look back on the videos which is brilliant i actually also meant to say the reason i keep not getting my camera out is because every time i get my camera out everyone stares and i really can't deal with the staring whereas when i just use my phone to film obviously like no one really blinks an eyelid but even today at dinner when i got my camera out to film which is all in slow motion so it doesn't really bloody matter anyway but literally like i could see in the corner of my eye people being like and then literally they will be like so that's basically the reason why i keep getting out my phone because i just can't hack the stairs like i honestly can't i just i just get too i get too shy i get camera shy we're trying to look up why this camera goes goes in and out of focus as well because it's actually driving me mad it's driving me up the wall good morning guys i hope you're all doing very very well it is a new day i don't actually think i vlogged at all yesterday we basically got up we were in tulum and we checked out and made our way to bacala we then arrived in bacala at about 3 p.m i think we sunbathed in the morning yesterday till about 11 30 and then we made our way to bacala arrived at about 3 and then we basically just like cycled around Bacala and went to the like lagoon sort of like lake thing, chilled there for a few hours. And then we came back and walked around Bacala, went to a restaurant, um, got some tacos, got a burrito and we got quesadillas. We got all sorts. It's so cheap here. And then we just came home and went to sleep. But it's a new day. We are obviously now in Bacala, not in Tulum anymore. I do kind of miss Tulum, I'm not gonna lie. Tulum was just so lovely, I absolutely adored it. Um, but today we're actually going on a boat trip. So we're going around, basically Bacala, there's like a lake, kind of like lagoon thing. I don't really know what you call it. And there's like loads of cenotes and like loads of like, it's meant to be like seven colored something. I'm not really too sure. Anyway, we're going on a boat trip around the lagoon. Um, so that'll be really lovely today and then tomorrow we are going to a thing called, oh, what's it called? Los Rapidos, Rapidos, 
I'm not really too sure. Basically, it's just like this place where you can go and like just chill on the river and just like somewhere to like basically just chill for the day. But the water is incredible. It's so blue, it's so clear, like it is literally insane. Um, so I'll bring you along for those two days. But our hotel, which we're staying in, in Bacalar, it is it's okay. Let me show you. Like it is nice but like i think we're just used to the tulum hotel which was so incredible i remember finding it really tricky to find a nice hotel in bacala i don't know why but i was just like really struggling to find a nice hotel basically i feel like it's very travelery like there's lots of hostels like there's loads of like people traveling around which obviously isn't an issue at all um but yeah that's kind of what i've like taken from bacala so far but the weather is absolutely gorgeous it's pure blue sky it's definitely a lot more laid back than tulum like it's just like more like local places like it's so cheap we got two cocktails last night for 150 pesos which is basically like seven pounds and in tulum we would get one cocktail for 350 pesos which is like i don't know like 25 quid or something maybe a bit less than 25 quid maybe like 17 pounds Anyway, let me show you guys our room. So this is it, this is the bed. And then that's the mirror, that's like the bathroom area. And then this is, I mean, it just looks like an absolute tip. Like it's, it's not too bad, the room, like it is fine. But I think we are just used to the beautiful Tulum Hotel. Um, me and George were saying that we should have done this place after Island Madureres and then to learn last because i don't know why i don't know why we didn't do that but we should have done ala majores baccalar done all like the travelly bits and then chilled at Tulum for the last bit of the hotel but not to worry we're here um and it's nice it is a nice hotel like i don't want to like diss it it's just not as nice as the Tulum one <laughs> anyway i am gonna head out george is already outside chilling in the sun i'm gonna go and join him and then i will bring you along on the boat trip we're just on our way to the boat tour. I'm going to vlog on my phone today because I didn't want to bring my camera on the boat. But the sun is shining, kind of. There's a bit of clouds now. It was pure blue this morning. The boat tour that we're going on is two and a half hours. So it starts at 11. Um, and I guess we'll be back by lunchtime. So this is just the walk. The lake is just through there. This is like the main road along the lake. Um, you can kind of see it through here. Looks pretty lovely. I literally love all these palm trees though. They're literally my favorite thing ever. Wait, is that a palm tree? Maybe it's a baby palm tree. Beautiful. Then underground rivers, when it enters an open spot, everything concentrates. on the phone again because I don't know why I just I keep getting scared to bring my camera out um, but we spent the afternoon at the lagoon it was lovely I did actually mean to vlog and I actually completely forgot the sun was honestly just so nice that we were just chilling in the sun it's reading my book I'm making a good old dent in my book I'm actually quite proud of myself I think I've got to page 200 which is probably the furthest I've ever got in a book before um, but we are now just making our way into the town because I need to buy some presents for my dad and my grandparents. I actually burnt my shoulders a little bit today, but do you know what, I'm actually not worried about it because I think it will turn brown by tomorrow. And also, because we've had kind of like, not a lack of sun, but like it has been kind of cloudy. I'm quite glad that I've burnt because then it will turn brown by the time I go back. Um, but yeah, we're just on our way to the town to do some shopping and then we are gonna head for dinner. We're going to a place called La Playita. Um, I've seen it on TikTok quite a lot and we've walked past it and it looks really nice, but the boat was so fun 
and yeah, we had a lovely afternoon chilling. Guys, look at these fellas. Yeah, they look sick, don't they? Oh my god, I've got something on my back. What on earth is going on up here? They look really cool. I don't know. They look sick. Oh my god. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> that looks fake, do you know what I mean? Yeah. With the clouds. <laughs> We've come to La Playita, but me and George have both got burgers. <laughs> so bad, I know, but honestly, I just couldn't face yeah, another taco. We had guacamole to start. I got a chicken burger. George got a beef burger. But yeah, I just couldn't face another taco, so we did have to go for a burger, and we do feel quite guilty, but it is absolutely delicious, I'm not going to lie. It's really cute in this restaurant, though. There's loads of lights, the lagoon, like lake kind of things just there. There is a lot of bug zone. So we've come to Los Rapidos. Los Rapidos? Los Rapidos? I'm not sure. Um, for the day. It looks really nice. How clear is that water? It literally looks amazing. Um, so you basically walk up there and then it brings you back down here. You just like chill in the river. But it's lovely. It's like a whole restaurant. So we're just going to chill here for the day, we think. Um, all the morning. It's literally 10am, so we're here as soon as it opened. Um, but yeah, so nice. Literally blue sky as well. It's lovely. How gorgeous does this look? The water. It's literally amazing. Oh, George cut his foot on the rock in the um, river on a salad bite. It's dramatic light. That's what they're actually called. <laughs> Keep calling them salad bites. It's literally so lovely here though. We've got set up camp here. We've got our two chairs. Palm trees looking lovely, it's pure blue sky. We're having a lovely time. Los Rapidos. Guys, look what just flew in. We don't know what it is. Like, what is that? Kind of looks like a turkey. <laughs> but I don't think it is. Maybe it's like a Mexican duck. I want him to fly away so you can see him properly. Oh, the um, black bird. Oh no, that's from that's a raven. That's a raven. No. Oh my god. Did you just hear that as well? It was like boom, 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 boom. I can't get over how clear this water is. It's literally amazing. <laughs> what have you got there, then, George? So I bought a mezcal, which listening for me was a cocktail. <laughs> I didn't know it was a cocktail. We've just seen it loads. It's obviously thank, thank you. you. It's um, a Mexican drink, and we were wondering what it was. We thought it was a cocktail, but turns out it's just a shot. <laughs> so drink up. But what do I do with this? Well, Let you obviously. I think it no. I think I've read it up before. It's an orange. That's oh. really nice. I think I've read it up before, and I don't think you shot it. I think you like sip, sip it. Yeah. You have to do one after. I've got an Aperol spritz. <laughs> Thank you so much. But, but before you try that, you're going to try some mezcal. This is a traditional Mexican drink. If you come to Mexico, you've got to get on the mezcal. It's actually quite nice. Wow, lucky you. I'll pass it here. Ready? Yeah. Fucking hell, have a, have a bit more than that. I have a taste tester of the Aperol. George has nearly finished his mezcal. He's not enjoying it anymore. He <laughs> squeezed. <laughs> he squeezed loads of orange juice into it to try and make it taste better. It's rough. If you ever come to Mexico, don't order the mezcal. <laughs> Then finish it off. You're good at hiding, like in your face. Oh God! Straight in for the there. Straight in for the kill. How was that? Well, these aperols are delicious. I'd highly recommend them. <laughs> We've come for dinner. Um, we just found a random place on the street. We got guacamole. 
I got another Afro. George got another beer. Pacifico. Pacifico. Quara. It's a new favourite beer. Some tortilla chips, frog whack. Ordered a pizza just because why not? But George did also. Uh, George also. Uh, uh, George did order fajitas. Fajitas have come. Guacamole was delicious, and my pizza's come. <laughs> My pizza is so delicious, guys. How is your pizza, George? <laughs> Good, and we've been joined by a little guest. <laughs> He's sat down there. Hello, boy. Oh, no, don't whistle. We don't want to encourage oh, him. Sorry, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, George. Sorry. <laughs> Why did you just whistle? <laughs> Good morning guys, I hope you're all doing well. I'm basically just coming on here to close off the vlog. I don't, I think the last time I vlogged was in Bacalar, but all we've done is basically come to the airport hotel in Cancun. So we stayed here last night and then our flight is this afternoon. So we're just gonna chill here during the day, have a quick last sunbathe in the sun and then head to the airport. So I'm basically just coming on here to close off the vlog. I have absolutely no idea how long this video is gonna be. Like, honestly, I have no clue. Like, I don't know if it's gonna be really long or not. Um, either way, if you have got to the end, then thank you so much. I massively appreciate it. Um, I probably won't be posting a, another video until the new year, to be honest. So I hope you've all had a... Well, I don't know if this is gonna come out before Christmas or after Christmas. Either way, if it's before, I hope you have a lovely Christmas and New Year. And if it's after, I hope you had a lovely Christmas and New Year. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.